The following video will show how to replace uh, a polychain belt in our new system. Uh, our pressure washers uh, are going to be using polychain and polygrips as an alternative type belt. They are synchronous type belts, they are super efficient and extremely durable. They require excellent alignment between the sprockets, the pump and the uh, engine sprocket. We begin by removing the uh, 8 mm bolts. In order to remove the bell cover, which gives us access to the actual bell, there is an adjustment screw. It's a very simple system uh, using a 3 quarter inch or 19 mm wrench. We loosen the lock nut on the half inch by three inch adjustment uh, bolt and we retract it. That way we'll be able to move the, uh, the pump mounting plate towards the engine. That way we can free the uh, belt and replace it. Okay, looking at the rear where the pump is located and using a 916 socket and an extension, we'll loosen up the upper right and lower left 916 nuts. We don't need to entirely remove them, just uh, moving far enough to where we'll be able to move the uh, platen or the plate, I'm sorry. The, holds the uh, pump and we can move it towards the engine. Now the other two will have to use a conventional wrench because the amount of space is rather limited unless um, a swivel type socket is being used. But the whole uh, process is very simple. One advantage on this system is you don't have the pump mounted at the base, which will require if uh, the unit is straighter mounted to actually lift the base from the uh, boards, the way you can have access. Now we shake the pump just to make sure it's loose enough and we can easily slide it. And then we'll proceed to move the whole assembly, the pump assembly, towards the engine to free the belt. Again, the uh, belt is a synchronous type belt, it's a timing type belt, and they are reportedly 98 to 99 percent efficient because they do not rely on friction to transmit power, but rather the cogs on the, uh, of the, or ribs, you know, on the belt, are they actually provide the traction on, uh, by utilizing sprockets instead of uh, uh, V groups on the uh, sheaves, in this case referred to as sprockets. Uh, this is one of the earlier units. Uh, in the future we are the cutout where you see that there's a little struggle removing the belt will be increased the radius by a quarter inch. That should provide enough clearance for easy removal. The installation of a new belt basically it will be in reverse now these belts are known to last thousands of hours. It may last the life of the equipment. Uh, we haven't had a chance to actually verify that since we have been using this for several months, but not enough time to really be able to, to see what the longevity on this belt actually is. But it's fairly simple, uh, the installation, the system is completely self-aligning, which means that you don't have to somehow try to reorient the position of the pump to make sure that you don't have a terrible uh, angular misalignment because this system is absolutely self-aligning 100% every time. Even though the belts uh, probably won't require any frequent replacement, Whenever uh, the, uh, the user has to do it, uh, it'll be a fairly straight, simple procedure. Now we'll proceed to retighten the uh, half inch by three inch bolt. 
and uh, we put the head of the bolt in this case uh, against the platen that protrudes the tab that protrudes from the pump uh, mounting plate is a sliding plate or we call it a slider because that's basically the function of it and we check the tension on the belt which approximately should be about a quarter of an inch applying approximately two pounds of pressure it's not super critical but it's rather better to have a little more slack than not enough uh, you do not want to put too much load on the bearings to have a, too much of a static load because that can reduce our life expectancy considerably so now we're going to go back to the back side of the C channel in order to retighten those four uh, uh, nuts and uh, basically we're doing the reverse of the original um, and after that's done that'll pretty much set your belt occasionally it's good to check the tension on the belt if uh, the nuts were extremely loose there's a possibility when you tighten them it may affect a little bit the tension on the belt and that's what I'm checking at this moment while I'm simultaneously I'm trying to tighten the, uh, the bottom right uh, 3 8 nut Another thing that is great about these units is uh, you don't have to access uh, adjustment bolts that secure the pump to the base having to lift it off uh, the planks, particularly on a trailer unit, which is many times the case since all the adjustment or uh, locking in place of the pump is accomplished with on a vertical surface, which is more easily accessible. And finally, we'll replace the bell guard, which serves a double function. Uh, it's not only safety for the operator, since it completely conceals all the moving parts in a very effective way, but also it provides additional rigidity because that turns that open C channel, form C, into a rectangle, which is far more solid and far more stable. The vibration on these machines uh, is not as perceptible on, as on conventional machines where you have quite a bit of shaking sometimes between belt guards, the pump itself. Uh, none of those problems exist. It's definitely, we feel, a great improvement for this industry and it's going to make these machines uh, really, really good machines particularly for contractors, people that have to work under adverse conditions sometimes and the replacement of a belt sometimes can be problematic. Well, we feel that with this system uh, we have all the bases covered. Uh, we use Honda GX uh, 690s, the ITX 800s and 700s too on occasion. We use AR pumps which we had excellent results. Uh, so altogether, it's a very, very reliable, durable unit.